YouTube, it's The Wandering Saint with another knife review for you guys. This is the Cold Steel Leatherneck Tonto Fixed Blade Knife Tabletop Review and Brief Field Test. Before we begin, you're going to notice my EDC bag is on the table. And the reason why it's there is because this knife lives in the bottom of that bag. It's there every single day uh, for whatever life's emergencies that might be thrown at me unexpectedly, such as a zombie apocalypse, an economic collapse, we're in a scenario similar to the movie Jericho and there's nuclear bombs possibly going off all over the place. Now I'm just joking with that. Um, but really it is in the bag there just in case there is some kind of emergency where um, this knife might be calling my name to be used for whatever kind of survival emergency situation. Without further ado, let's jump right into it. Here is this baby. It's the Cold Seal Leatherneck Tonto. Um, awesome knife. I've only had one brief experience, which I'll show you uh, using this knife when we field tested it. Um, it is pretty darn sharp right out of the box from Cold Steel, okay? And I can kind of do a little bit further shot if you can see that there. And this is their um, trademark Securex sheath. I don't know if you can read that on the label with the light. I do apologize. It says it's somewhere on there, Securex. Um, and you'll notice on the sheath here, you'll see there's uh, plenty of grommet holes. There's places where you can lash paracord, uh, lash this to your pack. Um, it has a really nice belt loop, very secure. And this knife is not going anywhere. A slight little rattle, but that's really no big deal at all. Um, it's got a nice little button snap here. And when we pull this guy out, Here she is. I got to be very careful with this guy because this one is sharper than the Schrade knives that I reviewed. As you can see on the blade, it says cold steel. I'm kind of doing this on an angle here. I don't know if you can see that. Cold steel. It says made in Taiwan, this one. Cold steel. However, it is just a freaking cool knife. Can you read that? Leatherneck Tonto. Okay, so, some stats on this guy, okay? Here it is, the blade is seven inches long. Um, the overall length of the knife is 10, in I'm sorry, 12 inches. Uh, the steel is a German 4116 stainless steel, if I'm saying that right, 4116 stainless steel. They may have changed this steel, I am not quite sure. Uh, but this is, I've had this purchase since March of 2015, and at that time they were still using the 4116 German stainless steel. Um, it weighs about 12.6 ounces. The blade thickness is 5 millimeters, okay? It's very similar to uh, a K-Bar knife, which I will show you after for comparison. Um, the um, grind is a hollow grind. Um, and they kind of call this their um, combat slash utility and I'm going to throw in slash survival knife with this because this could be a darn good survival knife. Um, it's pretty heavy duty. It's a full tang design and um, you'll notice on the back side here, see there's the tang, can you see that? I really hope you can see, see the tang comes right through. Okay, it's a full tang design and on the back this is a metal butt cap. Um, and they say it's a machined steel metal butt cap that could be used, um, you know, as a headache maker um, or possibly as like an emergency hammer where you could possibly, um, you know, if you had to pound in some tent stakes, break up some fine tinder, you know, maybe clock somebody in the head, break it into your house. I don't know. So there it is right there. That's the actual um, tang. And this is all metal. This uh, cap right here is a metal cap. Um, the handle. As you can see, it says cold steel on there. The handle is a rubbery five inch long and what they um, call a uh, Cray X handle. It's a rubbery, very grippy. You're not losing this guy, and especially when it's wet. It's not going anywhere, okay? Um, it also has this nice guard right on here, top and front. It's kind of bent a little bit forward um, and that is used um, for like combat purposes to protect your hand, um, but it just feels really good. You can still choke up on this knife. 
if you had to do some fine carving, um, you know, stuff like that. Um, it's a really comfortable knife. Again, I have medium hands. There's the blade thickness. Awesome knife here. I'll show you the comparison between the uh, cold steel Leatherneck Tonto and also the uh, K-Bar US Marine Corps knife. So you can kind of see a comparison in size. Right now, you can see that if it's too kind of close up. You can see they're about a comparable size. I'm kind of doing this at an awkward angle with the camera, but they're about a comparable size, okay? As you can see laid out on the table right there. Um, pretty awesome. Here they are in the hand, as you can see. Um, the U.S. Marine Corps K-Bar, uh, it's partially serrated. Um, it is uh, uh, not a Tonto, you know, bladed knife. Um, you can kind of see them for size comparison right here. Bring that into view. About the same size. Blade thickness. Maybe against the black of my bag. Same size, you know, as far as blade thickness goes. And then as far as the full tang, Go to an angle so you can possibly see that. This is the Leatherneck Tonto on the right. Test of the cold steel Leatherneck Tonto. The sharpness on this knife is absolutely unbelievable. Awesome. Here we go. A little paper cut test if you guys can see this. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Just cut the paper like butter. Right there. You can see a couple of snags. Look at that. Now, this is straight out of the box sharp. I did not sharpen this, I haven't touched the edge up or nothing. This is right from the manufacturer. You can see the thickness of that blade. Just cuts awesome, okay? Let's try it out on the famous old clothesline that we have laying around. It's like butter, double layered. go let's see here I don't know here's four three four three strands I mean this is just easy how many is that right there it's a lot awesome now I'll try a little stick action here all right, here we go. If you guys can see this, hopefully. Now this is like a tactical, I guess, survival knife, you could say. It's more of like a military style tactical, kind of similar to like a, what a K-Bar um, would look like. The U.S. Marine four K-Bars that were issued in, you know, to many soldiers. But, I mean, this thing could definitely be a survival knife. This is the first time using this knife. In a previous EDC video, I had said how impressed I was with this. I really like this knife, but I had not tested it. So you guys are seeing for the first time me testing this knife right here, just right now. And let me tell you, this thing is gliding across this wood like butter. I am a big Moore knife fan. And let me tell you, this, this other than my Swiss Army knife, this should probably be number three as far as comparing to a Mora. I would say Mora. You know, cutting feather sticks would be like number one. Then probably my Swiss Army knife, because I do keep it really sharp, would probably be number two. And then as far as sharpness, this would probably come into like number three as far as knives that I have owned cutting as well as a more, if that makes any sense to you guys. I mean, look at this. This thing is just gliding across. I'm not putting any pressure on this, hardly at all. There it is, guys. Cold steel leather neck tonto awesome knife 
Uh, final thoughts on this knife. Absolutely love it. So far, it's my favorite knife. But I almost feel like almost every knife I have or review is my favorite knife at that time. It is so hard to choose a favorite knife. There's no way you can do it when you're a knife nut, you know, gear nut, uh, flashlight lover. I mean, it's so hard to choose which one you like at the moment. This one I love. I've loved this guy since I got it in March of 2015 for my birthday. Um, I would recommend this to uh, everybody. Uh, again, you know, military, law enforcement, bug out bags, your survival knife. This would be my primary survival knife if I was in a situation, um, you know, going out into the wilderness for whatever reason, whether I was military or civilian. Um, I would say that, um, you know, I could probably trust this knife to do a lot more than what I showed you in my review, um, you know, as far as batoning, and I'm sure it could do things like skinning small game well, and it, it could, you know, prep your other firewood well, and it could probably uh, do a lot of things, you know, it's a good utility knife. So I would recommend this to anybody that's going to uh, want to be in the outdoors or is in a military tactical situation. Um, great knife, uh, you know, again, I haven't tested it any more than what you saw me. Uh, in that brief field test, that was the first time using this knife, um, but uh, I'm sure it will work fine. And um, I just think that this would be something that you could probably count on. However, if I was going in the wilderness, some kind of situation, I would definitely thoroughly test this knife before I go, but I, I have no doubts that the Cold Steel Leatherneck Tonto is an amazing knife. Cold Steel Leatherneck Tonto, check out Cold Steel's website. They put these knives through some serious cut tests and some torture. And one final thing uh, I forgot to mention too is that these knives are all hand honed. The last sharpening process, they're hand honed, which I think is awesome by uh, you know people working for the uh, company in Cold Steel. So, guys, the Wandering Saint, another video for you guys. Have a great evening.